Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Our son picked up a stick and hit your son. That's why we're here, isn't it? Th this is pointless. She's right, this is pointless. <laughs> well, the purpose, from Veronica's point of view, is to gather the parents of the child who has hurt her child, to have the children meet, have an apology, uh, set down an agreement for insurance purposes, God forbid any legal matters, but really to try to avoid that. Annette! Annette, what? Do you think my son is a snitch? I don't think anything. If you don't think anything, then don't say anything. Stop making these insinuations. It's great fun to pretend to be a grown-up um, and then to just have it completely disintegrate into temper tantrums and childish behavior. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Were you expecting a glimpse of universal harmony? This rung is terrific. It is, isn't it? So I had seen, uh, seen it originally when it was on Broadway, but one of the later versions, but actually rehearsing it, I didn't realize just how intricate, uh, how intricate it was, how little details that seemed throwaway or that seemed like they would all, were almost a joke, or just a joke, uh, how they really were adding to the, the build of the plague. Our son did well to clout yours, and I wipe my ass with your Bill of Rights! <laughs> A mouthful of rum and the real face of peace! I told you, didn't I tell you? you know, we all want to be right. We all want to hold on to our opinions, and that causes a lot of the tension in the play, is that they're never going to see my side of it, and so I just have to keep making my point louder and more aggressively and more aggressively. But, I mean, the irony is, is she's also a bit misguided in her, like, we should all be really peaceful! Don't get her started on that, for God's sake! Ah! <laughs> you know, one of the great things about this play is, like, there's no dimension of parenting or marriage that's sort of not left unscathed. You know, one of the things we do is we change for our wife, we change for our partner. That's a gesture that I'm making, but it wears thin. I have had it up to here with these idiotic discussions. All right, we tried to be nice. We bought tulips. My wife passed me off as a liberal, but I can't keep this bullshit up anymore. You know, and I think there's a lot of about Veronica that, that Michael admires um, and even, you know, treasures. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of other stuff. Whatever time this you goes on it, it from morning to night, tonight, from morning to night, out of the oven. to that cell, that cell phone makes mix me of our lives. Throughout the whole show, he's on his cell phone, which annoys everybody, uh, and I think we can all relate to that. And then at one point, his cell phone gets put into the water, and I think it is very funny to um, to react to it as if it were, you know, Greek tragedy. <laughs> As an actor, I, I always look forward to hearing nervous laughter from the audience. So while I don't generally look forward to puking on stage, um, the aftermath is fun. That's the Not now! She can't keep anything down! Where's the restroom? Oh, I'll show you! I just love that live theater, you know, that some people are having a good time and others are maybe not. 